to my Poshmark channel. This is Brittany from Foxborough Vintage and Shop Foxborough on the Poshmark app. And today I have something a little bit different for you. So people are always giving you hauls and saying, well, this is what I bought to resell on Poshmark and this is why. Today I'm going to do the reverse of that. These are my, why did I buy that moments? So I've got a bunch of stuff. I've just cleaned out my Poshmark and vintage inventory. Um, and I'm going to be taking some of this stuff to Posh or to um, my local consignment shop, and I'm going to be taking or sending some of it off to ThreadUp because I'm sending a box to ThreadUp Lux. Um, and those are going to be separate videos, so if you're interested in that, subscribe so that you get notified when I put those videos out. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this. I'll tell you what it is, uh, the brand, the size, and why I bought it at the time, and about how much I paid for it and um, what I'm gonna do with it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first item is this dress by H&M Divided. And I'm pretty sure I got this at the Goodwill Outlets or the Goodwill Bins. So I probably paid, I don't know, 75 cents for it or something. It's a size six. I thought that the print was cute. Um, but yeah, I guess I was just mistaken because it doesn't have a lot of likes on Poshmark. It's been listed since I think March and it's got to go. Next up is an Urban Outfitters piece. I definitely got this at the bins. It's by Ecote. Um, and it's just like this little sundress with cute little like adjustable gross grain straps. And yeah, I... I mean, it doesn't weigh much, so I probably only paid like 50 cents for it, but it's just not selling. Um, so I'm going to take this into the local consignment store, and they'll probably get somewhere around 4 or $5 for that. Same with the divided dress. This one I got from the bins as well. Um, the brand is Mystery. And I actually had some interest in this piece. It's just like a bohemian tent dress. And it's cute, but I have it in my 5 for 25 sale. It's been listed since March, and it's just not moving. So it's off to the consignment shop. And hopefully I'll get a couple of dollars for that. The next piece is a vintage piece. I got it in a state sale. I thought it was really cute. Um, it's like a bark cloth. A little split v-neck structured and it's got kind of like little mini bell sleeves here it's from about the 1960s late 1960s um it's homemade and it just had a couple of little stains on it that i couldn't get out i'm not sure where they are they were just oh yeah here some little white stains like paint or something like that and so i just decided that it had to go um, and I'm going to take this to my local consignment shop too because they have a vintage section in their little store. And I'll probably only get a couple of dollars for it, but I paid like five, so better to just not sit on it. I want to keep my Poshmark inventory fresh. I'm tired of sharing stuff over and over again with no likes, no interest, and it's just taking up my time and it's not worth it. So I'll take the couple of bucks that I can... Uh, get for these items. This one is an Angie dress and it's cute little multicolored polka dots with a surplus bust. It's a size large. Angie runs really small. Um, it does have an elastic no I thought it was elastic but it's not. Um, I think I got this for myself from Skula, uh, which is an online website where you can go and get like some pretty cheap stuff and um it just didn't work i wanted to be able to nurse in it but it did not fit in my chest so i put it on poshmark and it has one like and it's been listed since march and i'm just over it i'm tired of sharing it so that's also going to the consignment store the next piece is a motherhood maternity piece it is a size extra large it's cute Everything is cute, right? That's why I buy things. I liked the floral pattern. I liked the stripes. Uh, it's got, you know, an elastic waist. Um, but yeah, just nobody, nobody wanted to buy it. And uh, even for $8, 
which is kind of like my minimum. Uh, so I try not to sell things on Posh if I don't make at least $5 from it because what's the point? Why did I list it? Uh, and that's where I'm at with this. So my local consignment store is called, well, it used to be called Mother and Child, and now it's MNC Clothing and Gifts, but it started out as like a moms and babies store. So they sell kids' clothes, men's clothes, um, maternity stuff they love. Um, and so it's really great because I can take almost anything there, and they'll definitely accept that, especially with spring coming. Guys, I've got to stop buying Forever 21. <laughs> it's so cute, but... The resale value is so terrible, and I've had this one listed. I thought it was, I thought it was adorable. It's just a little sundress, little like blue roses on it. It's got kind of like a strap across the back, faux buttons up the front. I don't know. I thought it was, I thought it was something, but um, no one wants it. So that one's going to my local consignment store too, and they'll probably get like two or three bucks for it. And I got that at the Goodwill bin, so it's not like I paid very much for it, but. I've just got to stop buying it because I'm wasting my time taking photographs of these things that aren't selling. Uh, this is a really obscure brand. I had to look it up. It's Sailor Sailor. Um, it's a size medium. It's this kind of like almost wave pattern with these little pink anchors. And it just it hurts my eyes to look at. Um, but I got this in like a mystery box that I got from another reseller. Um, I bought like a huge lot. It was like $130 for the whole thing. Um, and I got some good stuff in there and I've definitely made my money back. But this piece just has, I think like one like on Poshmark. And, um, I don't even want to bother to like cross post it to eBay or anything like that. So this blinding little piece is going to be sent into my consignment store. I did look at ThreadUp and they didn't even have this brand listed so I was like I don't trust you guys to give me any money for that so it's going to consignment. The next piece is another brand I have got to stop picking up but I just can't help myself. It's Gap and even worse Gap Factory. Why did I buy this? It Okay so I got this from Skula. I got it as part like if you spend a certain amount of money um, which I think is now $35, they give you free shipping. So a lot of times I'll like just be kind of desperate and I'll like add stuff to my cart that I think is cute, but this was one of those things. I think I only paid a couple of dollars for it and it's got this cute little bow in the back and I believe I actually originally intended to wear this myself, but I'm nursing right now and it doesn't fit. Um, yeah, so my consignment store will take that and sell it for a couple of dollars, and I'm fine with that. Just let me stop sharing it and give me my money back. <laughs> okay. This one is an older RD Style piece. So Stitch Fix actually sells, sells RD Style. So that's what I was kind of thinking when I picked this up, but it is not a Stitch Fix piece. It's got a weird shape. Um... I tried it on and it's just like, it's not very flattering, um, it's straight in the back and then like kind of gathered, or straight in the front and kind of gathered in the back. It's polyester, there's nothing wrong with it, but yeah, that one's going to my consignment store too. And uh, hopefully they can get a couple of dollars for it and someone else will like it. I feel like it needs someone without any chest whatsoever to wear it, so that's not me. <laughs> All right, next thing is, I almost always pick up dresses when I'm at the bins and I find them. This one is an American Living dress. I uh, picked it up because it's nice, bright floral, and it has pockets. Gotta love a dress with pockets, right? Um, but it just, it got like four likes, I think, but no one really wanted to pay anything for it. I kept sending out offers to likers. I think I got up to like 60% off and it just wasn't moving, so I'm gonna, Take this to consignment. Uh, ThreadUp wasn't paying much for these dresses. It was like a dollar fifty or something like that. Um, so I'm gonna take this to consignment, and hopefully someone will be able to wear it for the summer. I'm sorry if I've been forgetting to tell you what size these things are. That that was a size four. This is another one where I usually only sell this brand if it's 
mine and I'm trying to get rid of it in my Poshmark closet but for some reason I thought this was cute festival boho blah 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 and uh it is by exhilaration size small it's a little romper long sleeve and kind of like a bohemian sort of India inspired pattern and soft rayon but it was really hard to photograph and nobody wants it so I'm just gonna take it to consignment they have like a junior section there and it'll sell there for a couple of dollars and I have really good luck with this consignment store they're pretty picky things have to be in good condition they can't have stains can't have flaws but I sell almost everything I take in they do markdowns at the beginning of the month um, and sometimes things that I've had uh, lists or had there for a while will sell at the beginning of the month and then after three months that's when it's it's cheapest and after that they donate it and you can go and get your stuff back but for god's sake I don't want any of this stuff back so they're just gonna donate it if it doesn't sell but hopefully almost everything will sell I've kept I've kept track of it before and if I take in about 30 pieces which is the maximum I usually sell about 22 to 25 so that's good enough for me um, and it's just a little extra money so this is a Kenzie dress it's really it's cute I don't know it's by Kenzie new with tags and I'm gonna tell you a very tragic story about this dress so I actually I listed this dress and I sold it for $25 on Poshmark. $25. And I couldn't find it. I looked and looked and looked and I could not find it. So finally I had to cancel this girl's order. And then later I found it and I relisted it. And I've even got it as part of my 5 for 25 sale. And no one wants it. And every time I look at it I think about how I could have had $25 for it if I just had my S together and um, yeah so now I'm gonna take it to consignment so I don't have to share it and look at it anymore because it makes me sad <sighs> next okay this one is another one I found at the bins it's by peppermint bay it's I don't know 2000s late 90s maybe um, but it's just a pineapple print little shift dress. I'm sure it's something you're supposed to wear like as a beach cover up. Um, it's rayon, it's soft, it's nice enough, but nobody is really showing any interest. It has three likes on Poshmark. I'll probably send out one last aggressive offer to likers and if nobody takes it then take that to the consignment store and they will snap that up. This is another beach cover-up. I did actually have someone interested in this, but they offered me $6, and I was like, mm, that's not a good offer. Uh, it's Staring at Stars by Urban Outfitters, and it's size medium. It's just like a double gauze little dress type thing. Um, it's got like a crochet hem. It's lined. And it's got a drawstring waist, and I just thought it would be a cute beach cover-up. I listed it last year, just in time for uh, beach season, and there's no takers, um, except for $6. And I think I can get more, of it, more for it at the consignment store, so that's what I'm going to do. And you'll probably notice there wasn't anything going to thread up in this pile, um... I do have some stuff that I'm sending to thread up, but I'm very picky. I always go onto their website and they have a payout estimator for what they will give you for certain items. So if I was in question, I looked up what the items that they had been taking had they, their payouts had been. So like say I looked up that American Living dress and the last four dresses that they took that were casual cotton dresses, they paid out $1.54. And I decided that I would get more at the consignment store for that stuff. Um, and so I decided not to send it to ThreadUp. But I do have some stuff going to ThreadUp. And that'll be 
uh, mixed into this little series that I'm doing, and then I'll actually have a video of what I'm sending to thread up Lux, and that might actually even come out before this video does. So um, if it does, I will link it in the comments below. So check it out. Um, so I'm gonna do tops and bottoms next and there's going to be a video for tops and a video for bottoms so please subscribe stay tuned if that's something that interests you you want to know what's not selling on Poshmark what's not selling on eBay um and yeah so I'm going to go through all that stuff and then I'm going to go through my listings and delete all of that and that'll make my closet a bit smaller so the sharing will go faster and then I'm going to get some new inventory up as you can see in the background I've got all that stuff measured and it just needs to be photographed today so uh yeah let's get some fresh inventory in there for spring even though it's January I am ready to go for the warmer weather trust me all right. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I hope this was a little bit educational for you um, in deciding what not to buy. And uh, yeah, see you hopefully for my next series. Thank you. Bye.